Okej, okay, så här båta Samsung QLED Q70T 65-inch TV. Så so let's unbox this all by myself to see how easy it is to unbox it. And then later on I will also set it up. So, let's start by opening the box up like this. And then we have some stuff here. We have the remote control, we will look at that later on. And we have some instruction on how to set this up. And we also have, I think it is to the stand. And as you can see, maybe 4K Ultra HD, HDR 10 plus, Smart TV by Tyson, Tyson operating system, Su supports Apple AirPlay 2 and Apple TV built in, HDMI and so on. Like so, and now we should remove this somehow. Like so. And this is the back side, and this is the front. Back side should be up. Okay. Let's remove this. So, this will be hard to do by myself, I think. But I think it works. And now we should have it here so I can mount everything on it mm. heavy 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 ah. I think it's stable now I hope so here is the other part of the stand we can check that out I think this stand, I haven't seen this model of the stand when I searched this TV on YouTube. So I think they have changed that because before it was two legs to, to mount on the side of the TV and that looks quite unstable actually on YouTube. But I think this stand is a lot more beautiful and also hopefully more stable. As you can see, it is in silver, metallic, looks great. A lot of tape, like so. Let's remove that. And as you can see, it looks quite neat. I think looks good. So this will be mounted on the TV with the other part. Let's check out the other part. 
Let's check out this part of the stand. This is quite plastic though, but it should be on the TV, on the back side of the TV. Hope you can see that. Here are some screws. Like so. So this part should also be mounted on the stand, of course. <laughs> I don't like that is, there is no charger in the box on their phones now. But anyway, this is it. I think it's time to set this up. So let's uh, do some pause of the video. So I have now mounted the stand. It was quite easy to do actually. And uh, a pretty cool thing is that uh, you can hide the cable, the power cable in these and just hide it below this as you can see. That's quite nifty. So you can hide HDMI cables there too if you want and so on. That's right. So uh, the stand is now mounted so now I will put up this TV and see how it looks and so on and do some setups. So hang on. Okay so now finally the TV is in place and now we will remove some plastic protective plastic from it and then put the cable for the power in and then do a setup of the TV. But before we do that I will show you the really nice remote control. I think this is awesome. Pure metal steel. Looks gorgeous. Awesomely good remote to this TV. It's so freaking beautiful. So that was a surprise for me. It feels so good and it's pure quality this remote. Pure quality. So now we remove some plastic from the TV. Let's remove that. And then remove this. And then we have some plastic around the TV, I think. Looks like it anyway. And we have plastic at the bottom. Hmm. How to remove this plastic? Here is some to remove, like so. And then at the top, same thing there. And then at the side. Like so. Now I don't know if it's plastic at the bottom, but probably. Okay, so I have now finally removed all the plastics and now it's time to do some setup. So let's power the TV up for the first time. Where is the remote? We have the beautiful remote here. So let's try that. And let's power it up now. QLED. The first boot of this beautiful QLED Samsung Smart TV, 65 inch. Okay, so choose language. And I'm sorry, I need to choose my language Swedish here because I will use it in Sweden. So I need to choose Swedish here. Sorry for that, but let's hope you can see what I'm doing anyway. 
Now it says I should download the SmartThings app on my mobile and then configure this new TV. You don't need to do this. I have the SmartThings app. It works on both uh, iPhone and iPad and Samsung Galaxy phones, of course. So now I will choose this TV in the SmartThings app. Now I start. I turn the volume down because I don't want to have any corporate issues or someone. Like so. So now I just click continue and so on. Choose a place. Choose a place. Home. And then a new room. I choose living room. Next, uh, a background. Well, let's choose a color instead. Green. It wants to be able to use sound. I choose that. Now I should click the pin code that the TV shows. Now I should follow the instructions on the mobile phone. I'll agree to everything. I don't like those, but I need to do that now because I do this setup. I'm completely exhausted by unboxing and setting this TV up on my own. It's finished, I think. I don't want to do a backup. You can use all remotes with one remote, this remote. That's nice. Now it wants to identify different units. And I have a Sonos speaker connected. That's the only thing connected to it. So I will do that. And then an antenna, of course. And you can use intelligent mode to have different volume options and so on. I would want to use my settings from my other TV. Mm -hmm. Let's try that. Let's see if that works. Let's continue. You can use Spotify. I don't have a Spotify account. I use YouTube Music. Register my TV. I don't know why, but I do that. Next. Now it says everything is done. I'm not so sure about that, but let's see. You can show your smartphone screen on the TV by just holding the TV near the TV, the, the phone near the TV, that's nice. Activate. And you have a remote in this app, if you want to need to do that. But uh, that was the setup with the smart things. Now, just having some settings to do search for channels and so on. Let's start by searching for TV channels. I'm not sure why it doesn't find any channels, actually. That's strange. Very strange. Hmm. No channels at all. Hmm, strange. Let's try cable instead. I don't get it. Yes, now it finds, as you can see, quite many channels, as you can see. That's nice. 
I don't use TV channels so much. I use play channels and uh, streaming and so on. But it's nice to have if you have a TV, of course. So I had the wrong mode when searching for channels. That was the reason why. So. Now we have TV, as you can see. We have different TV channels. I don't want to show too much because corporate issues and so on. But as you can see, we have TV. So that's really nice. Let's see, I have Plex from the TV from the bedroom, Apple TV, TV4, so for example TV4 Play here in Sweden. So that was a setup of this TV, so now we can start using this TV. It was quite much work for one man with such a large TV. But anyway, now I'm done and now I will do the rest of the settings and so on, installing apps and all apps I need and all that. So, okay, bye.